We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, faithful acolytes, it is time once again for us to head into the ring for another swing. And this time, it is round eight of the Hot Nuts head-to-head -head battles. Now, so if we start thinking about this in terms of the rounds, this is round eight. I, I do at least, at least three new flavors every single round some rounds is more so that's at least 24 individual flavors of hot nuts of some type i've done we have pistachios we have peanuts we have what do we got here peanuts again we have peanuts and we have uh peanuts so we're all peanuts this time except for the pistachios and we have had, I don't think we've had walnuts, I can't remember if we've had pecans, we have had almonds. Uh, we have, we've just had some different cashews, I believe, has been part of it as well. So uh, you can go back through the archives and look, but I would say probably we're over 30 different spicy nut products at this point in a head-to-head -head battle. And our reigning champion, which both of these two have been since they were introduced. So for flavor, we have from Terrapin, Station Smoking Company. We have Scorpion Chili Pistachios. They are wood fired, and those are my favorite as far as flavors. In terms of heat, it is these from Blazing Foods. It is the uh, Carolina Reaper Wild. Yeah, the wild flavor. So I I think I have enough left of these for two more rounds, unless this gets too thrown, and then it won't matter. But Assuming this doesn't get dethroned, and these things uh, definitely have a good, good solid punch to them. So unless these get dethroned, uh, we've got maybe this battle and the next one, and then I think that is it for this bag. Now I am running out of stuff. I have enough right now for one more round after this, which will be in quarter two of 2021. This one, of course, is quarter one of 2021. And after that, uh, nine rounds. So. You know, we're probably going to be pushing 40 different products by then uh, across those uh, nine rounds. So, you know, nine videos, 40 products. It's, it's, it's pretty good coverage as far as that goes. I decide not to do them individually just because there is honestly more continuity with a lot of these than there is difference, uh, I feel. And um, it, it's more fun, I think, to do a competition, a head-to-head sort of battle thing. So I've enjoyed that more anyway. All right, so let's get to the getting and let's take a look here at this first one. I did these in order. So this is the Pain is Good Ghost Pepper Nuts. So we did, last round we did the regular Pain is Good and they were not particularly hot. This one, they have this cool little ghost thing. I like this guy. Why would you, okay, so why are there shackles on him though? <laughs> He's the ghost of Christmas peanuts, I guess. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is from Spice and Foods, of course. And uh, let's see here. So we have ghost pepper. Where is that in our list? Oh, it's actually, wow, okay. So we have peanuts, spices, ghost pepper, habanero, and... And that's about the size of it. So let's uh, take a little look-see here. Okay. All right. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I did I did enjoy the flavor of the other ones last time. There's a desiccant. Let me get rid of that. And look at how big these are. These are really nice size. They actually smell like the other ones. So uh, let's just try a couple of these here.
Mmm. Flavor wise, they're quite good. I don't know if they're particularly hot though. All right, let's um, let's get our shot glass ready. I mean, there, there's an okay heat to them. All right, next we have nuclear nuts from Inferno Candy Company. Uh, this is the first of their um, labels. I think it's kind of a dud. This one we have the same habanero and ghost. Uh, this one has a sugar component, so I'm interested to see what that does. Are these candy? Oh, look at that. It's like they're almost can- Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I'm excited now. Let's get- Here, let me just take a few of these out and look at them. Look at these. It's like they're almost candied. So that can be a blessing and a curse because the- The, uh, Blazing Fluids, uh, Wild, the, the Carolina Reaper Peanuts also have that sort of coating. Hmm. These are nice. Mm. They're, um, I would say their nuclear nuts are probably not as hot as these, uh, so let's switch these around here. And we'll take a look at all this when we get to the full burn section, which of course, you know how that goes. If you watch the channel at all, you, you know how that goes. All right, so these are the three kings from Big Reds. Some okay flavoring here. Some okay coating. All right. Hmm. Now these are, um, we've got Ghost, Scorpion, and Carolina Reaper, and I think they're really close actually to the, um, these, these Ghosties, so all right, let's do that. Put these back here. These rounds are getting, I don't mind telling you, uh, progressively hotter. The higher the number gets, the more the rounds are just stem to stern, just heat, just just all heat. And okay, let's, uh, so we're getting into some. That's why I had to lower the sauces. <laughs> I did five, I think, for one of those rounds, and that was, uh, it was pretty, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty on the aggressive side. Okay, do we, yeah, we have, no, we have enough left for one round. So round nine, if it gets that far, it's going to do it, but it will. None of these is hotter than the, the Reapers from, uh, Blazing Foods. Taste-wise, though, I might have a conundrum here, but... You know what? We're gonna find out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crack open these pistachios and get this set, and then uh, we're gonna go for a little burn ride. Okay. So before we get to this, with these these pistachios, even though most of what we're doing here is peanuts, these pistachios might be the last of these left on the planet. I've still got maybe two rounds of those. Uh, we have mostly this is peanuts but we have some very different approaches here we have a sweet one here we have a mostly sweet one and we're touching on so the last three of the actually the last four of the of the hottest peppers so we have habanero ghost we have scorpion in these two and this one actually and we have reaper in this one and this one so the, the peppers are all well represented and even though the approach is a little bit different, uh, we, we do have some, some, some interesting dynamics here going on. So, all right, let's start with nuclear nuts. So this and now we start least hot to most hot. And this one, as 
You know, Ric Flair said to be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, this is the king of the heap. So let's kick off with the nuclear nuts. I'm not a fan of this flavoring system. I feel like if you're going to use a sweet component, use honey. This definitely needs a little more salt as well. It's, it's tedious eating these. I should also mention these are two, two ounce shot glasses, as always. Okay. Pain is good, ghost pepper. It occurs to me that this is the same flavoring system as the other one. Which I found really enjoyable on peanuts. Of the three new ones, this is definitely my pick for flavor. You know what, on the peanuts, Bison actually manages to get out of his own way, which they almost never do on the sauces. These are really good. They're not crazy hot though. This is probably maybe a one. This one is hovering between a one and a two. To give you a comparison, this one's a four. Maybe approaching five. All right. Really good. Really good. All right. Now we go to three kings, big reds. This one has the best label. Look at their crowns. Their labels are awesome. They have so much fun down there. <clears throat> this one is also a fairly simple flavoring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a build to this one. Hmm. Very impressive. I wouldn't put it above a two, but. All right, so, so far this one is in the lead for flavor. This one for heat, but. I don't think they're going to do throw on this one. All right. 
Let's get on to the wood fired scorpion pistachios. Oh, those are so good. It almost isn't fair. So good. These can be punchy though. Starting to cook a little now. And let's top it off with, oh yeah, these are too big. The uh, Reaper Wild. Yeah, these are hot. It's amazing to me that I need all those, and this is still just blowing me up. They're really good, though. All right, so there it is. Woo, those are hot. <laughs> there it is. Three more challengers come up. Three more get knocked down. Ah, ah. good burn, good burn. Um, these are still the hottest. Still the best flavor. So, nothing changed through round eight. Ah. And uh, we'll see what happens in round nine. I think I'm at four contenders for that one, but uh, tune in, quarter two, probably June, and we'll see you for that one. This has been it. Round nine of the head to head Battle of the Hot Nuts. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.